Hiya, hiya. I want to talk to you about the temperature checks they're doing with the temperature guns. And I want to read you a post which was on Solutions Empowerment, but I do not know where it was reposted from. And there's a couple of things to think about. The very act of pointing a gun at someone's head and normalizing that, particularly towards, well, anyone's head, but particularly the children. Uh, it's just, it, it has to have an effect on you at an energetic level, and it's terribly wrong. But there's also other things to think about too, particularly with regard to your pineal gland, which is vitally important and something which is under constant attack and has been for a long time because it's the, it's the bridge, if you will, or the gateway is probably a better one to the, the higher energy realms of spirit worlds. Um, anyway, let me read you this, and this is from an Australian nurse. I'm really worried. I've started implementing the new protocols in force. One of my new tasks is taking and recording each person's temperature. I aim for the center of their forehead with my thermometer shaped gun. I pull the trigger, wait for the beep and record the temperature. I always apologize to the person before proceeding. After doing this a dozen or more times, I suddenly had a realization. Are we being desensitized to be targeted at the head and also causing potential health issues by aiming an infrared ray to the pineal gland? So I started taking the temperature on the wrist, which turned out to be more accurate given that the forehead is cooler than the wrist and the results differ by more than one degree in some cases. I went to a shopping mall and people were lining up to get their temperatures taken by an employee who was obviously not a medic and was not properly educated on how to correctly perform this procedure. Many were shocked when it was my turn and I took the gun that was being directed at my forehead and redirected it to my wrist. I spoke softly but firmly and told the employee that an infrared thermometer must never be pointed at someone's forehead, especially babies and young children. In addition, it requires basic knowledge of how to properly read someone's temperature, i.e. placing a thermometer on the wrist or elbow fold is much more accurate and much less harmful. It was very disturbing to me to observe children getting used to seeing an object the shape of a gun aiming at the forehead and without any negative reaction from the adults as if this was normal and acceptable. As a medical professional, I refuse to directly target the pineal gland, which is located directly in the center of the forehead with an infrared ray. However, most people agree to go through this several times a day. Our pineal glands must be protected as it is crucial for our health both now and in the future. The pineal gland is a small pine cone shaped gland of the endocrine system, a structure of the, the encephalon of the brain. I hope I said that right. The pineal gland produces the hormone melatonin, Melatonin influences sexual development and sleep-wake cycles. And if you remember from another video I did, melatonin is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, antioxidant. It's absolutely critical uh, for your body's health. The pineal gland is composed of cells called pinealocytes and cells of the nervous system called glial cells. The pineal gland connects the endocrine system with the nervous system and it converts nerve signals from the sympathetic system of the peripheral nervous system into hormone signals. Over time, calcium deposits build up in the pineal and its accumulation can lead to calcification in the elderly. Function. The pineal gland is involved in several functions of the body, including secretion of the hormone melatonin, regulation of endocrine functions, conversion of nervous system signals to endocrine signals, causes sleepiness, influences sexual development, influences immune system function, antioxidant activity. Ask yourself, is it ever wise to aim an infrared laser light at the pineal gland? I'm going to leave you to have a think about that one. If you are subjected to um, those kind of temperature checks, you might want to redirect that to your elbow fold or your wrist to give them a more accurate reading and to avoid any potential health damage that they are inadvertently being trained to cause in you. You guys are amazing. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.